In today's Daily Express, Roman Catholic priest Father Clyde Howie is quoted as expressing concern about the number of detainees who are being put away without family knowing where they are. Joining us on the line is Father Harvey. Father Harvey, good evening. Good evening to you, Dominic, and I to all your viewers. I think the concern is about, one, um, the parents not knowing where these, children, where these people are, and two, these young men being imprisoned with hardened criminals. I lost, I lost your last comment there. And two, the, 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 the detainees being kept alongside hardened criminals. Yes, um, you see, one of the things which you just saw, even in watching some of the footage, television footage, people were just being picked up, and then you heard that people were picked up here and there, in some cases picked up from their homes, of course. Um, but the major question for some people has been, listen, where are my relatives? I don't even want to focus on parents or such, but where are my relatives? You know, Where are they? Now, on the one hand, some people have been picked up, you know that. On the other hand, some people just are not appearing. And one of the most humorous situations that I've faced over these days is a woman saying, you know, I haven't seen my man since the emergency began. Somebody calls me and says that he was picked up by the police, but I don't know. And she looks at me and she says, you were she says, if he's picked up by the police, okay, but if he's picked up by some other woman, that is a different problem. So there's a clarity that is not there simply because nobody is saying these people are here, there, or wherever. Has anyone in government been in touch with you to discuss this? Not really, not really. Do you think the state of emergency is achieving anything at all? What are you hearing on the ground? Well, um, people are saying that, okay, we are sleeping a little bit safer in our homes and so on. But there are serious questions on the one hand about whether, in fact, the state of emergency is touching the considerations about criminal activity that it claims to be touching. And then one of the things that saddens me a lot is that the level of trust seems to be deteriorating rapidly in some situations. Level of trust in whom? Trust in the government. You see, I, I think that some people have to ask themselves, listen, what is really going on with all this so-called communication that is taking place? Are we really developing a bond with our population so that they can believe that we are acting in their best interest? You see, and that, that is a very, very important political consideration. Now, you have worked for a long time on the ground in helping to transform young people in Gonzales and the Laventil area. Do these people feel that justice is being served? Um, again, the level of um, uncertainty is what is really working against things. Where a lot of people just do not know what's going on. What they see is very often contradicting what is being said. Right? On the one hand, you are being told that we are here, we're cleaning up the crime spots, um, people are being arrested, and so on, big fish, and so on. But when you understand that some of what has gone on, even in terms of describing what happens at a certain level with certain criminal activity, um, you know that a lot of that has already been transformed, that we move beyond that. Right? And I've heard descriptions, for example, which are already five, six years old. You know, <laughs> what is being described took place five years ago, um, and that was dealt with when certain criminal elements have been killed. And we know that a lot of what has been happening more recently is a lot more subtle, a lot more subtle. So when you understand that, the most you can say is, do people really know what's going on? Are those who are speaking and describing what they say they're doing, are they really aware of what is happening? Father Harvey, thank you for joining us and sharing your views. Now let's hear what the people think. <laughs> 